here will tell you a story about one of us. The Great Book of Nature is open at another chapter. You're going to learn about the Siamese fighting fish. Take cover. Won't the rain wash away the seeds? Can't be helped, son. Bothering you? All those wasted seeds. It's not your fault that a rainstorm came up. If I hadn't insisted on helping, you would have finished before the rain came. Now half our crops are gone. Everything will be all right. 
I hope she's right. She's always right. Mm. I must catch something for the evening meal. I'll make a tasty soup. Father, father! Granny sent over some of her delicious oatmeal cakes, and she says everything's gonna be all right! Granny's predictions already hit the mark, son. We'll have a tasty fish soup for the evening meal. Mmm, fish stew sounds good! That's Kuzu, the firefish. We can't eat him. And just why not, young man? Granny says to eat a firefish brings bad luck. I'd forgotten that. Oh, please, Father, we have to set him free right away. <sighs> yes, I believe you're right, my boy. We'd better run and do it before it's too late. Mm, go ahead, children. Into the pond with him. Come, brother, hurry. <laughs> Did you put him back? Yes, but something's wrong. He's just lying there and not moving. I'm sure he's just tired and hungry. Give him something to eat. Uh. Here, Kuzu, have some of this rice. Father, we're trying to feed him, but he won't eat. Well, we mustn't give up, must we, son? Huh? I'm worried, Father. I'll tell you what. We'll send your little sister off to Granny's house. If there's anybody who knows what we should do, it's her. Poor Kuzu. I feel so sorry for you and for your family, too. They must miss you terribly. says there's only one thing we can possibly do to save Kuzu's life. What must we do, sister? We must find a lakshin bush, take some leaves from it, and touch Kuzu with one or two of them. I'll get some lakshin leaves for Kuzu. Where do those bushes grow? On top of Hazar Mountain. It's very dangerous. Hmm. Some of that new rice wine I promised you, son. Look! Lakshin Bush, Lakshin Bush, where are you? That must be it. I've got the luxury leads for Kuzu. What is that fool kid of mine up to? Hurt yourself? Are you all right? Yes, I hope I didn't ruin the lakshin leaves. Poor Kuzu. Oh, I'm sure Kuzu will be perfectly all right, son, and it will be all thanks to you and your bravery. Go give him his treatment. <laughs> Come on, we better hurry. I want you to know I'm very proud of what you've done, my son. Well, what are you waiting for, son? Hurry! Work 
you, brother? I don't know yet. Someday. Daddy's back! Daddy's back! <laughs> oh, we were so worried. What miracle brought you back to us, dearest? The two children did it all. If it hadn't have been for them, I'd have died. I must find some way of repaying their good deed. I consider it a debt of honor. They're ever in trouble. All my magic is at their disposal. And their granny, too. It's only thanks to her wisdom that the children knew what to do. I must think about it. It's a debt of honor, I tell you. At last. Welcome home, Daddy. Hmm. Looks like we're in for another storm. It's clouding over. I certainly hope it's not as bad as the other one. If it is, we're ruined. This is terrible! What does it mean, dear? It means a storm has come and washed their crops away. You stay here while I go check things out. I hope it's not as bad as I fear. <gasps> oh no, it's even worse! It's a catastrophe! Oh dear, oh dear, everything is ruined. All the fields are destroyed. <gasps> everything destroyed again. Everything, everything. This is really awful, isn't it, Father? What in the world are we going to do? At last I can pay off my debt. This is what we're going to do. Madison, care. We'll just have to do what we can with what little we have. I can't wait to see their faces. Just as I planned. Now, listen carefully. This is what we're going to do next. <laughs> I never saw anything <gasps> like it in my <laughs> life. Hi now there. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's the biggest daikon I ever saw. I think it could feed our entire village for a year, son. <laughs> I am. Is everything all right, dear? Yes, Daddy, tell us. Couldn't be better.
they're going to try and harvest it now. And I tell you, when they do, they'll be amazed, astounded. Might and main, I can hardly wait to see their faces a few minutes from now. Fortune has finally decided to turn her smiling face upon us. Report, our efforts have been crowned with success, my dear ones. It was Bafo box office from start to finish. We mustn't forget one very important thing. Tonight we must have a solemn ceremony to thank the gods for their favor. With special thanks to Kuzu. He's the one who gave us his magic after all. Good wife, I assure you, Kuzu will receive from us the largest monument ever built to a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly. They'll be very happy. Indeed, I wish there was more that I could do. They gave me life. The greatest gift of all. I thank the gods. Like we might be in for another spell of rain, son. The plants are so strong now, nothing can hurt them. You can say that again. Grow! is here to feed a whole army. <laughs> Let me try to harvest this ear of corn. Ugh. Did I forget the house keys? No. This is something you just have to see.
Thank you for everything, dear friends! Thank, Thank you, you Kuzu. Kuzu. The Siamese Fighting Fish How is the Siamese Fighting Fish classified in the animal kingdom? The Siamese Fighting Fish belongs to the order of Perciformes and to the family of the Anabantidae. It's a very beautiful fish with bright red coloring and long flowing fins. How many species are there and where do they live? The Siamese fighting fish belongs to the better splendid species. Nowadays it's found all over the world, being one of the most popular aquarium fish. But originally it lived only in ditches and swamps in Malaysia, Thailand and South Vietnam. How do they live? In warm water, preferably, over 25 degrees centigrade. During the mating season, males prepare a nest of air bubbles enveloped in mucus. How does it move? Like all fish, by swimming. They're most at home in shallow waters with lush vegetation on a muddy bottom. What do they eat? They're omnivorous, eating animal and vegetable matter with equal relish. How do they protect themselves? As their name suggests, they're very aggressive. People who raise them are well aware they should not be put together with other species, and above all, the two male fighting fish should never be kept in the same tank. How do they relate to people? Their rapport with humans is exclusively limited to providing attractive additions to domestic aquariums. Can they live in the city? Yes, they are frequently found in cities, but always in aquarium environments. Well, have you all learned the lesson? <laughs> the moral of the story is that kindness and generosity are always rewarded. Ha 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 ha! Who's coming? <laughs>